The core products of the plumbing industry are pipe and tube. National standards for the United States standard tapered pipe thread define the difference between pipe and tube. Traditionally, the difference between pipe and tube has been based on wall thickness. Pipe wall is thick enough to allow pipe to be screwed to another pipe. In general, tube wall is too thin to allow connection by screwing. However, as you will see later, modern methods of manufacturing have resulted in tube that can be threaded. The most commonly accepted difference between pipe and tube is that tube walls are thinner. Pipe or tube can be made from a variety of materials. In the plumbing, heating and cooling industry, pipe is usually made of either metal or plastic. The word pipe is used for both singular and plural references. Many different metals are used in the manufacture of pipe and tube. While sometimes metals are used in their pure or almost pure forms, metals are also used in alloys. An alloy is a combination of two or more metals, or a metal and a non-metal substance, which are heated until they are blended together to form a new material. Metals can be divided into two groups, ferrous and non-ferrous. Ferrous metals are metals containing iron. Ferrous metal pipe is strong and generally not affected by heat or cold. It is easily threaded to allow piping systems to be taken apart if necessary. Iron alloys, steel and stainless steel are ferrous metals used in the manufacture of pipe and tube. Non-ferrous metals are metals in which there is no iron. Non-ferrous metals will not rust. Copper and its alloys, brass and bronze, are the most popular non-ferrous piping metals. Aluminum and other non-ferrous metals also are used in the manufacture of pipe and tube. Plastics are another major division of pipe and tube materials. Plastic is non-corrosive and usually much lighter in weight than metal. These and other advantages have made plastic piping popular in many residential and industrial applications, depending on local codes.